Hi folks, thanks for joining me today. My name's Greg, this is All About Candles. I'm your self-proclaimed Canadian candle connoisseur. And today I have a review for you from Bath & Body Works. This is my beloved Palo Santo and Vanilla. I ended up really enjoying about half of the candles that came out. Um, in this sort of wave of candles. I think Bath & Body Works is really kind of failing at semi-annual sale and summer candle selection right now, but I did actually end up finding quite a few that I enjoyed. Palo Santo Vanilla is one of them. It did come out last year. I really liked the jar. It looked super pretty when it was burning. Really nice sort of textured um, white lid on her, thick ropey wicks. Palo Santo has been coming out pretty regularly. I'm talking about the, the regular Palo Santo candle. That's been coming out on a very regular basis for a couple of years now. I feel like there's almost always a version of it on the floor somewhere and I love it. I think Bath & Body Works really nailed it with their Palo Santo note, and so I don't blame them for sort of <clears throat> branching it out into other fragrances. I think that my very favorite is the regular Palo Santo. I think my second favorite is the Palo Santo and Sage. That's a beautiful candle. I hope it comes back. But if not, I have backups. <laughs> and my third favorite is probably this Palo Santo Vanilla. But I say that to say that even though this is my third favorite, I absolutely adore it. I only got one of them last year before they all vanished. So I was really happy to see it come back this year. Um... The scent notes on this one are Palo Santo, Woody Musk, and Tonka Bean. And so for me, Palo Santo sort of belongs in the same wood family as um, like sandalwood and cedar. There's, a, there's already a little bit of a sweetness to Palo Santo, which, you know, to me makes like a Palo Santo and vanilla blend like kind of a no-brainer it's got like a herbal like earthy greenness to it and a little bit spicy the palo santo note with bath and body works has a little bit of like a sandy dryness to it and a bit of a like a mild almost a mild like cinnamon or clove in there as well it's creamy warm, caramelic, toasty, a little bit buttery, woody. Yeah, I really, really, really like this one. I think it's a beautiful fragrance. Um, I think that, you know, having the Palo Santo and vanilla is a way to make the Palo Santo fragrance a little bit more accessible to certain people myself included like i think that this is a really nice easily palatable uh palo santo candle and i think it's a great addition to the bath and body works lineup i hope that we keep seeing it at least every year and if not maybe even more regularly i don't think this candle would be totally out of place in like a January, February lineup, a summer lineup, a really early fall lineup. I absolutely love it. And it performed nicely too. I'd say that the strength and the throw, depending on the space I was in, went from about a seven to an eight. Some of the burns in the mid range, I think, in like a medium sized space, definitely got to an eight. Um, I found it to be maybe just a little bit inconsistent, some burns seeming to be stronger than others, but when it hit its stride at the strength of its powers, it was very satisfying and overall a good performer. I burned it all the way down until I could see the wick nickels right at the bottom there. You know, I only had about this much left and I was outside hanging out with some friends and so I just kind of let it go off outside and so that is why it got a little bit discolored like this. 
Um, it, it wasn't as bad of a last third performer as many Bath & Body Works candles have been these days. There was a point where it was a little bit of teeny tiny flames, um, but not too bad. And you know, the, the candle was basically done and so I kind of just put it outside and let it go off. Eventually I uh, blew it out myself and called it a day. There wasn't much more to get from it. So overall, I'd say that this is a great candle. Definitely a repurchase for me. For some reason, this collection, these summer candles, they're not putting these on semi-annual sale prices yet, at least not here in Canada. I feel like these candles might get into deeper discounts further down the road of this sale, um, you know, maybe in the last week or something. I'm hoping to see, um, I'm hoping to see the summer collection get deeply discounted in the last bit of semi-annual sale, at which point I will repurchase this one. And I would highly recommend it to you if you like vanilla woodsy fragrances, you know. It's not as sweet as a mahogany vanilla, um, and it's not as as piney as like a vanilla balsam. I think it's a really nice addition though to the Bath and Body Works sort of wood vanilla blend lineup. Oh, and I love it. I really do love it. I, I highly recommend it if it sounds like something that would be up your alley, but obviously wait until they go on sale. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you could hit me up with a like, a comment, subscribe if you like what I'm doing. And until next time, my friends, let's burn some candles and bitch about it. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Bye-bye.